Hey guys, so we are gonna talk today about the pipeline. Now the pipeline is this, okay? This thing on top, that's what HoneyBook calls it. Um, it's gonna basically help us track exactly where each bride and groom are. And so we don't have any editor block ups and we don't have people like unaware they have weddings. It'll be really easy. <clears throat> so first of all, let me show you how. So a wedding can be assigned to someone, like it's assigned to me, but I can add participants and if I, I, if I add you as a participant, this task will now show up in your actual, um, in your project folder. So like, let, let, let me say this, Wendy Anderson, if I add um, Tim, oh, I did it down here. If I add Tim Rollins, okay, wait for it, bingo. And I'm gonna come over here to Tim Rollins and he should also be able to see it, Wendy Anderson. The only thing is Tim can't switch the stage. The only person who can switch the stage is the person who it, it is assigned to. So there is a difference between being assigned and being added as a follower, if that makes sense. <clears throat> I'm gonna, um, yeah, I'm gonna take Tim off just cause he doesn't need to be here. So, okay, so when it's assigned to you, um, this is how you're gonna switch it, right? It's gonna tell you what stage it's in. When you get it, it's going to be booked. Meaning, um, I have booked them, but they have not been contacted by you. So this means you, you have work to do. You gotta call them, you gotta get in touch with them. Um, <clears throat> and then once, those phone, well, once that first phone call is done, you're gonna switch it to contact it. This is where all the weddings are gonna sit. If you haven't contacted them, like if you, sorry, if you already contacted them and you're just waiting for their wedding to happen, this is a good thing. This means you're, you're on top of it, you're doing a great job. Once you have filmed it, okay, what you're gonna do, is you're gonna switch it to filmed. So, and then what you're gonna do is you're actually going to reassign the project to, um, you're gonna reassign it to the editor. So if I was giving it to Andrew, I would assign it to Andrew, meaning I can no longer change the stage, but I am a follower on it. It will still show up in my, um, in my bin. <clears throat> so now if I'm gonna be the editor, okay, once it's in filmed, I know I have to edit it. And so I'm gonna go on, I'm gonna find the footage, I'm gonna edit it within two weeks. Once that's edited, okay, um, what's gonna happen is the editor is now going to be delivering the wedding video. So here, for, until further notice, here's how that's gonna work. Once you've, felt, once you've edited it, you're gonna switch it here, <clears throat> okay? Um, in this main, like, you know, there's gonna be two different tabs. There's gonna be like the private chat, which you can access down here which isn't on this one, but you can private chat. And this one is the chat with the client and whoever is at it. So like Tia, Tim, whatever. You're actually, the editor is going to say your wedding video. <clears throat> okay, and you're actually gonna just open up a template and it's going to be send out video, boom. It's gonna autofill their name. All you have to do is post the Vimeo link and post the Google Drive link and send it to them. If you're concerned about something, so, well, let me finish. Once you're done with that, you're gonna come down here and boom, you're gonna hit delivered, and then that is where it should sit. Leave it in your pipeline at delivered, okay, for like, for like two weeks, give them a chance to respond. If the customer responds, it will show up. Everyone who's added will get an email, and it will show up right in here. So the customer's response, if they're like, hey, I'm wondering if I could get something different, I'm wondering if I could get whatever, this is exactly where you're going to see it. And then, um, so the editor would be in charge of that, they would read that, they would jump on there, they would make those edits, they would resend it out again. Um, and that that's how it's gonna work, okay? So we're gonna actually have, um, the editor just needs to be on top of it, you're going to be the one that watches from the client. It just gets too messy to have like Rachel as an in-between. So this way, it's just, you know, we make sure the brides get this stuff the moment it's done. However, what this means is that as an editor, you better make sure that the, the video is good. You better make sure that it's up to quality because um, for now, if you're just the one that's going to be sending it out, if they're mad at it or if they're unhappy with it, um, that's, that's going to be a problem that's going to be on you, right? Like it, and if we watch it and determine like, hey, wait, really? Like this was not up to quality. Like why, why is, are there so many focus issues or whatever? Like, that that's gonna be a problem, right? So make sure that like the video is totally good to go. And then only when that, once that is sent to them, are you gonna actually, um, you know, come request $75 from me.
Okay, so, and then when that's done, <clears throat> when you come delivered, like that is the final step. And um, what you're gonna do from there, the editor is gonna assign it to um, finished projects, okay? So that's what's gonna happen. And then all the finished projects are gonna go in there so it just kind of like gets off your, um, it gets off your, your personal bin. So now I'm gonna show you what this looks like from the app, from a different view. So this is the pipeline view, okay? This is where you can see all of them. So all of your own personal weddings. Let's, let's jump over to like Daniel's or Tim so you can kind of see what it looks like. Okay, <clears throat> so once again, Daniel right now, and I'm not, I'm not calling you out because it's brand new. Daniel has nine booked. Okay, and 12 contacted. That means that these 12, he's on the first phone call, he's good to go. Um, these nine, he still needs to contact. And so, what he, you know, he, he knows that if I, if I look at that, I'm going to know that Daniel needs to contact people. So, um, yeah, I mean, at, the, at that point, you got to go make your phone calls. This is basically how we're going to tell where everyone's at. Once you've filmed it, if you've got, you know, that, so this is going to be assigned to Daniel. So, Daniel's going to switch it from booked to contacted from contacted to filmed, and then he's gonna reassign it to his editor, and the editor will then have it, so let's go to Andrew. <clears throat> the editor will then have like 10 films, zero edited, so he knows, okay, it's probably about time, he needs to jump on there and start editing. These are, you know, these are the dates, always edit based on like the furthest away date, and then the editor is actually gonna be the one to send the, you know, send the video, and then after two weeks, um, so you should have a bunch of deliver. After two weeks, you're gonna reassign it to finished projects. Hopefully that makes sense. So basically, in, its, in, in a project's lifetime, I'm gonna go ahead and book them. I'm gonna assign it to Rachel, who's gonna you know, make sure that they're, like, everything's ready, there's a chat room, she's gonna you know, confirm the contract's all done. And then she's gonna assign it to the videographer, and videographer's gonna be here, here, and here. And then she's gonna switch it to the editor, and the editor's gonna be here, here, and here. And then we're, once you're done, you're done. That's gonna be easiest. Everyone will be able to see each other's projects. But um, yeah, the, t the pipeline's gonna be really helpful. This is how we're gonna all stay accountable. So thanks, guys.